Hello, today we will review the Iberostar Daiquiri Tropical Beach Resort. Iberostar Daiquiri is located on the tiny island of Cayo Guilherme, which is just off the northern coast of the Cuban mainland and between islands Cayo Coco and Cayo Santa Maria. Among other things, Cayo Guilherme is the home of what is often proposed as the most beautiful beach in Cuba, Pilar Beach. And we will talk about it later as well. We really enjoyed our stay at this resort. It wasn't as luxurious as, let's say, Iberostar Varadero, but it was still one of the better Caribbean destinations we have visited. We will show you the great things about this place, and we'll throw in some words of caution, which will help you enjoy every minute of your stay there. We will guide you through the lobby, the bars, the buildings and the rooms, the restaurants and the swimming pools, the magnificent beaches, including Playa Pilar, the amazing entertainment staff and their performances, and we will even tell you a few words about the so much feared by the tourists, insects and crustaceans. So stick with us, we'll have a great time together. Traveling to the resort is convenient, as your plane will likely land at the Cayo Coco airport, which means it will take only a very quick shuttle bus ride before you get accommodated in your hotel room. The lobby is quite spacious and full of vegetation. It features the reception desk, the lobby bar and several stores along with the internet access points. Iberostar Daiquiri is a relatively small resort. It has 13 residential buildings and everything seems to be within a very short walking distance and most importantly the beach itself as well. The one thing that everyone will appreciate about Iberostar Daiquiri is the architecture of the residential buildings. Now, you know how other resorts will charge you more for an ocean view room? And you know how you have to ask your booking agent every time to please get you one of those? And you know how sometimes they respond, well, we cannot guarantee availability? Well, here at Iberostar Daiquiri, Every single room has an ocean view. Yes, the architect of this place deserves a big hug of gratitude, as you have more or less unobstructed view of the ocean from almost every single balcony. Rooms are definitely not huge, but we did not feel any lack of space either. In late 2013, a complete overhaul was initiated which renovated and upgraded both rooms and appliances, so the old CRTs should be long gone by now in all of the rooms. One of the great things about Iberostar Daiquiri is the gardens. There is a lot of very mature vegetation. It really adds to that exotic tropical location feeling. And kudos to the gardeners. Having labels with common and taxonomical names of plants is a really nice touch especially to a scientist. Iberostar Daiquiri's theater is not very big and visibility might not be best from all spots, but the entertainment is of a really high class. Every evening there is a great show for you provided by the amazing dancers of the entertainment team. I mean, some of those people could easily perform on Broadway. They were good, good, If you're traveling with kids, do not forget that there are also evening children's shows organized at the same place. And yes, the entertainers will do a kids show even if there is just one child to participate. As I said, very professional. Iberostar Daiquiri 
has also a nice kids club, where little ones can be kept amused during the day. Along with just playing games or, well, watching TV, they do organize a coach ride and tours where kids from different resorts get to visit and play in the kids club of the neighboring hotel. I have to admit, the swimming pools are quite small. We were lucky to visit the resort when it was only partially occupied and crowded pools were never an issue. But I imagine if the hotel is at 100 capacity, well, it might become a bit too crowded for my taste. There are three pools. The main one, featuring the poolside bar, the secondary one right next to it, and a really tiny and absolutely not exciting baby's pool right between them. Ultimately, considering what I just said about hotel occupancy, we liked the pool area and spent a lot of time there. There were no problems finding lawn chairs and no one ever reserved spots by the pool by throwing towels over the sunbeds and not showing up. Let's now talk about the restaurants and the bars. The main restaurant has an adequate seating capacity. However, the buffet is a bit small compared to other resorts. We found that the cooks successfully tried to compensate that by ensuring a constant flow of freshly cooked meals. Yet, it might take some getting used to before you realize that you will not be deprived of culinary options during your stay. You can have some snacks at the poolside bar slash snack bar or eat at the basic but still good beach restaurant during the day. The resort has three bars, one in the lobby, one by the pool and a third one in the theater. Before we move to the beach, I'll mention something very important. The Barostar Daiquiri has its own bank. Not a money exchange counter, but a real bank branch. So don't bother rushing to exchange money at the airport as soon as you land. Once at your resort, you will have that option and it will be a better exchange rate as well. The beach at Iberostar Daiquiri is quite good. You have a lot of parasols, but also lots of palm trees growing right in the sand. So umbrella or not, shade is abundant. Just do beware of falling coconuts, as this could be quite a heavy impact. There is a nice pier with some sunbeds at its end, so I'm sure you will enjoy that as well. I would have further praised the beach if there weren't so much seaweed. Maybe it was due to the winter season, that's when we visited, but the water did not have that turquoise color that is typical for the region, namely because of the above mentioned marine vegetation. High tide drastically decreases the beach size, but at low tide it is much better, so keep this in mind as well. Now, if you really are a seeker of the most amazing beach, then by all means do visit Pilar. It will certainly classify high up in your rank list of four beaches. There are buses which will take you there and then back, but also a cheap and way more comfortable taxi ride is an option. Don't forget, you can always bargain a fixed price for your daily taxi trips to Pilar and back. Playa Pilar is a very beautiful place. The amazing sandbag is huge, especially at low tide, and the water is everything you might expect from a tropical beach. I promised at the beginning that I would mention several words about the insects and crustaceans. But while I was recording this, I actually decided to dedicate a separate video to that, as this topic is not specific to Cayo Guillermo only, but to any visitor of the tropics, no matter which country, no matter which resort, and it cannot be adequately addressed in just two minutes. For now, just keep in mind, you're in the tropics. Use your common sense with every animal you encounter, from microscopic, to domestic ones. Along with many other things, 
do not go hugging that unknown dog at the beach, or do not let your kids cuddle stray cats, and you will drastically decrease any chances of having actual medical problems. But as I said, await a special review dedicated on this specific topic. In conclusion, the Barrowstar Daiquiri is a good 4-star resort. It has many great features, it has some shortcomings as well, but we found they were more than compensated by the professional and friendly staff. Would we recommend visiting? Absolutely.